organization grows, the data center network fabric must accommodate new resources. But how can scaling be accomplished quickly without a lot of effort, time, and errors? In this demo, we show our Ruby Fabric Composer guided setup workflows easily accommodates the addition of new VSX switch pairs to expand the leaf spine fabric. You will see that expanding the fabric is even easier than initially creating the fabric because a Ruby Fabric Composer auto populates workflows with previously provided parameters. We will start with our four configured switches in our fabric. Ruby Fabric Composer will do automatic workflow provisioning to make the process of expanding the fabric easier. Start on the network's visualization screen. Here you will see four switches, two leaves and two spines. Both leaf switches are connected to both spine switches and fully configured. The dotted line shows that BH1, BH2 are an existing VSX switch pair. We want to add an additional VSX switch pair. We will use the switches and assign switch to fabric workflows to establish these new switches into the fabric. Let's begin with the Discover Switches workflow. To add the two new switches, as we've done in a previous demo, we first enter the switches IP addresses, then input account password, then select apply. The two switches are now discovered, but not yet assigned to a fabric. Let's do that now. Select the assign switches to fabric workflow to add the two new switches, assign them to leaf rolls and apply. Navigating back to the network's visualization screen, we see the two new switches, CT1, CT2. The dotted lines between them and the spine switches represents LLDP connections. From here, additional parameters could be configured. For details on NTP and DNS parameters, see previous demos. There's not yet a VSX connection, so we'll do that now. Select the guided setup VSX configuration workflow. Previously supplied information is pre-populated, so these steps are simple and move quickly. When completed, you will see on the VSX screen, our new switches are in operational state and are in sync, the primary and secondary. From the network's visualization screen, we will filter to see our new VSX switch pair. You can hover over the connection to view additional details. Next, using the leaf spine workflow, we will select automatic mode and specify a name. The IP subnet address will auto-populate from an initial leaf spine setup. Aruba Fabric Composer automatically applies unused IPs in this range to these new switches. We review the summary and select apply. On the leaf spine screen, we verify our newly established connections. From the network's visualization screen, we see the previously dotted lines on our new switches are now solid lines, confirming the new leaf spine relationships. The new VSX switch pair still needs an L3 routing configuration. We'll do that by extending the previously configured overlays and underlays. Navigating to the VRF screen, simply select Reapply Underlay from the Actions drop-down menu. Select OK. Now, Aruba Fabric Composer automatically extends the existing underlay configuration to any new switches it finds in the fabric. If needed, we can extend the overlay to the new switches as well, using a similarly convenient reapply overlay action. Whether building out leaf spine connectivity for the first time or adding leaf nodes to existing fabric, Aruba Fabric Composer automated workflows help to eliminate the labor, time, and errors often encountered when scaling the network fabric.